An actress I've never heard of until today, Lola Gladini, is now getting lots of press because she suddenly remembers a story from the set of Blow 23 years ago where she had a small supporting role opposite Johnny Depp and he allegedly verbally abused her. This is an old story that's suddenly gotten repurposed, but it's gotten so bad that Johnny Depp has had to respond through a rep. Let's break all this down, shall we? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And obviously, look, I'm Team Johnny Depp. I've always been Team Johnny Depp. However, if Johnny Depp really was verbally abusing someone, I wouldn't like it. And I think he would have apologized. Uh, the fact that he's now come forward and said this is not what happened. Uh, we'll get to his comment in a second. Uh, I just wanted to look at this more closely because I see it all over the place. And I, I got to keep it honest. Sure, I guess she could be telling the truth. I got thoughts if she is. But it also just feels like a very weird story to bring up given that the only person who can sort of vouch for it is the director who's now dead. And it is kind of a knock at the director as well. Why are you knocking this guy 23 years later? It just seems very bitter and angry. And, and usually a story like that, that you're hanging on to for 23 years has a little bit of bias on it itself. So I can't just take her word for it fully. Sure. There was probably some sort of uh, instance on set Maybe it was justified, maybe it was not. But you got to look at movie sets in general, too, if we're really going to be fair in how we judge this. So before I get to all my thoughts and break it down, let's just go and look at what she's accusing, okay? What she's alleging. Uh, she's accusing her below co-star uh, of being yell yelling at her, saying she was an effing idiot, she should shut the F up during a tirade on set of the 2001 film. Lola claimed that after she laughed at one of his lines, Depp began to berate her while sticking his finger in my face. Now, the truth is, if she's actually interrupting a take and a big monologue that he's prepared and they're on a tight schedule, and this movie was more independent, it was a cheaper film, there's a lot of stress on the line to not interrupt takes and try to make yourself have the spotlight. Now, she claims the director told her to do that. Let, let's watch a little bit of this interview. Here she is from the Powerful Truth Angels podcast. Johnny Depp has this monologue that he does back and forth, back and forth, and after a couple takes, Ted Demi comes over to me and he's like, okay, Lola. The director. <clears throat> When he is, when Johnny Depp is like, uh, he, well, sorry, he doesn't call him Johnny Depp. No, no. Um, when Johnny, <laughs> when Johnny yeah. is. You know, Did you mess up the story? <laughs> okay, but let's continue. You know, saying his monologue, um, when he says this certain word, you know, he gives me a cue and he says, I want you to just like burst out laughing like she just told you the funniest thing over here. We're in the background, deep background, right? And, and there's a roaring fire. And I'm like splayed out in a bikini like this. And like someone's like giving me a joint and I'm supposed to laugh at, right, at this scene that we're creating. Yeah. And separate whole scene. Well, it's like they're doing, yeah, he's talking in the. You're the background. What that means is they're extras. They're in the background of the scene and they're not supposed to talk or do anything. You do some movements, but you're not trying to overtake what the primary actor is doing. It's just what happens. And a lot of extras don't like that. They want more attention or they try to spotlight themselves. Foreground yeah. and, and we're in the background like being the lovely babes or whatever. Yeah. So um, Bikini, they're bikini. They're glorified bikini girls in this movie. He's She's taking a little time to process. All right, I'm gonna tell the story. Says his monologue. I hear the cue, and the, and I go, <laughs> you know, and I do a big laugh or whatever. <clears throat> Carries on the scene. Cut back to one. Going again. We do it again. Ted gives me the cue, like yeah, just like that. Perfect. So she laughed, and he continued. He he ignored her first laugh does the monologue, and then Ted's like, do it again. I hear the cue. I burst out laughing. So is it important you hear the whole story? Because So she's now done it a second time. Johnny's unaware of this, that Ted, the director, is now trying to undermine his performance or try to get him to be unnerved more. It's a trick that directors sometimes do, and it can be really unfair, and some directors just don't care. They'll... They'll, they'll throw someone on their bus to try to get the reaction they want from their actor, but often they actually can do the opposite effect and really create a bad, toxic set. And again, all of this sounds bad that Ted Demi is now causing this whole turmoil and trying to trigger John. I, it's so unclear what the goal is, and he's not here to defend himself. Uh, but this is what's happening. And yeah, if you're doing a big, long monologue and one of the extras in the background starts laughing, I can understand why you lose it. Johnny Depp, when they say cut, walks over to me. 
because again, Mark, mind you, now the second tape, she second take, she's interrupted, and he has no idea the director allegedly told her to do so, which I don't know if I believe either. Uh, in fact, I, I, there's a, a bleeped version I'm going to play for you because YouTube's just been. You so think annoying. you are shut? Here it is. <laughs> Here's a little bit more of the bleeped. Who the f do you think you are? Who the f do you think you are? Shut up! I'm out here and I'm trying to can say my lines, and you're pulling focus. You idiot who the f do you think oh now oh now it's not so funny now you can shut up now you can f shut the f up oh it's not funny now okay the quiet that you are right now that's how you f stay first day on the set first day, i've never met him i've i've five thoughts I have a lot of thoughts. This is my first movie, my first studio movie. I'm just an indies until then. It's still kind of an indie. On the show today. On so that was a little tease, which they did in the edited version. So that's the story. Okay. Now that, of course, of course, we have what a bully jerk Johnny Depp. It's it's the headlines across all over places and so many outlets who, who have so much egg on their face because they got the trial wrong. Uh, always love to come back and kick him while he's down. So that's that's why I'm sort of annoyed by this and I'm even looking at the story and giving it some attention because, yeah, it's nonsense. Story doesn't make sense. And look, if you really did it the way she said it, it wouldn't have been okay. I wouldn't be okay with this. It is a berating. At the same time, I, I assume there probably was sort of some exchange, maybe not as many Fs or who knows. But when you upset a film like that and then no one has your back to explain it, you got to understand why they'd be upset. And again, not the way to handle it by any stretch of the imagination, but films are stressful, expensive, pressure filled. And yeah, you can't just go keep interrupting. Now that's, what's weird. And why I don't believe the story. So the director does all this tells you. And then as she says later in the interview, yeah, the director totally did never have my back. That, you know, right, right. the costume, like no one wanted to fucking talk to me because right. like, and I was, she like, was a pariah on set. person came over with, Bikini. In a bikini. That's the worst part. And she's doing all this in a bikini. She keeps reminding him. But she says the director didn't say anything, never came to her defense to say it. And the director's now dead. So she's defaming the director, making him look like he was a scumbag who threw under the bus and everybody else. Look, I wasn't there. I don't know what's happening. But Johnny has now responded because this, this story has gotten some legs, annoyingly. And uh, he said through his rep, through a rep of Johnny, spoke to Deadline, Johnny always prioritizes good working relationships with cast and crew, and this recounting differs greatly from the recollection of other members on set at the time. A rep for Depp said in the statement to Deadline. Now, again, any good person could go talk to a, several other people on that crew to try to get more information. But of course they're not doing that. They're just believing this woman who has a story, and maybe there was something that was a little bit more aggressive than it should have been, maybe. But why is this news 23 years later? when the director's not even here to vouch for it. I'm sorry, I have no idea who you are. I, I looked her up to try, am I missing something? She said a few parts. Uh, she was in a, you know, she's a TV actor. She's done some parts. She had a reoccurring, pretty decent role in Criminal Minds for a period there and Law & Order a couple roles. Ray Donovan, she had a part. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, she's working. She's a working actress. Why would you want to put yourself out there in this type of way to get famous? It's just weird to me. It's weird to me. I, she's never really had a huge breakout role. Blow, clearly one of her most popular, Invincible. But anyway, the point of the matter is, Lola, why? why, why, why how is this helpful now? Why are you still holding on to this grudge? What, what is this trying to achieve? I, I just don't believe you're telling the full story. I just don't. Um, that's just me. Based on the way you're telling it, you did it twice. You had no one to back you up. Couldn't you understand why Johnny would be upset? And did she really drop that many F-bombs? Are we just supposed to believe that you transcribed it and remembered it exactly 23 years ago? Maybe, maybe I'm off base. Uh, Johnny just says it's not true. Uh, could this all just be attention because your name's now out in the media again? You're getting some attention, but is this a good attention? In Hollywood, any attention is attention. That's how it works. Uh, so look, I, I just didn't think this was necessary. Just feel silly. Again, if you really said it the way she said it, it's not okay, but I just don't believe it. It feels like a weird, bitter, over-exaggerated version of probably a fight that was had on a set. Maybe the director did throw under the bus. Then why are you throwing this director under the bus all these years later when the man's dead? How is this helping anybody, Lola? You haven't moved on? Like, 
He didn't hit you. Like, I mean, what is this? You know Johnny's been through a lot, and now you're going to pile on now? Like, you've had millions of opportunities to come forward and try to sell, tell this story while Ted was alive, other, and now you're just using it in a podcast story? I don't know. rubs me the wrong way. What is up with people in this? My truths. I don't know. Am I off base? Do you think she has some credibility here? Could I be missing something? Am I being too biased? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, if I thought this was something that really felt like Johnny deserves to apologize, I'd say it. I'm not some Johnny stan that's going to always uh, have his back no matter what, but I'm going to look at the evidence and present it, and then I'm going to give you my opinion. And in this instance, I'm not buying it. I just don't buy it. But what do you think? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Make sure you hit that button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more coverage of all pop culture stories here on Popcorn Planet. Yeah!